Hello everyone, this is Mike Gosson with Vectology. I'm here on behalf of Vector Toots Plus. And today we're going to learn how to make a cute little monster in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Although this tutorial was done with Adobe Illustrator CS6, a lot of these tips and techniques can be used in other versions of the program. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you here is I have a sketch, a little monster I drew outside of Illustrator. Um, I use a basically just Prismacolor, you know, color pencils. I have my sketch layer. This is set to multiply so that you can see under the sketch, see through it. Also, I created a brush. Let me pull that out really quick. Just a basic over brush, and we'll be using this pretty much throughout the whole drawing here. Go ahead and erase that really quick. Okay, the first thing we do here is start inking this sketch out. I'm going to begin with a white fill with a black stroke. I'm going to set that to about 0 0.25 point. Let's begin sketching this. Now, what the understanding that you have to have with this kind of um, inking is that you have to start with the outside first or the back first. And so, you see how the actual arms are attaching to the body. So the first thing you draw is the body. Now make sure we keep this under the sketch here. I'm going to lock the sketch layer. I'm going to call this lines. Okay, now I'm, we're going to work in the line layer here. First thing we're going to do here is start drawing the actual body. So I'm going to draw a line like this. Now let's bring this down to about 0 0.25. Okay, we have our first line there. Second, we're going to work on this one. What you want to do also is if you see how there's two, this doesn't all the cross all the way over like this, the leg. You basically have a leg and then this right here. Now, what you're going to want is when you actually ink your artwork, you want to make sure you're able to add a fill to it because it's really difficult to go back and do that again. So, you got to be really careful how you're layering these artworks. Now, when you have an actual shape where like a leg is coming together where it's not really crossing all the way over you want to start from one end to the other like this you can come in right there come around like that so that you get that look of it's attaching to the actual body here not crossing over like this because if you did it like this if you went like this it looks really really weird there so Let's go ahead and work on that actual idea. These are really key ideas when you're inking your sketches. Same thing here. So we can go ahead and move one here. There we go. Now we have some feet there. Same idea. I'm going to attach that foot to this one. Same thing here. And the same thing here. Okay, now I'm going to use make a foot on this one. I'm going to take one. I'm going to actually draw the first one here like so. Second, and let's go ahead and start with the furthest one first. So we can overlap that really easily. Like so. Then one foot there. Very nice. Okay, now with the arms, the same thing. We're going to go ahead and work on this. Now you see this arm has multiple Y angles on this one. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to do the same, same thing. You're going to go ahead and pull from here all the way around like so from here all the way around then one more from here just like that you start from the furthest one back all the way up you're building so basically you have three shapes just kind of sitting there and once you really get the hang of this it's inking and illustrator is super easy there's no there's no um, difficulty at all it's just really getting the idea and since the fingers go on top of that I'm going to put one here and one there Actually, I'll do the thumb first to get that overlapping looking correct. And there we go. And now we're going to move on to the actual other arm here. I'm going to pull this one from the back all the way forward like this. Since this one's going to from the back, I'm going to I'm going to shift control left bracket to bring it all the way to the back. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the hands on this arm itself. 
put one finger here like so and one finger to the back because it's going to be overlapped so that's one two and then one more right there very good I'm going to bring this in a little bit more just to make sure okay there we go now next we're going to be working on the head I'm going to do a nice little kind of how the belly is a little swoop like that I could copy that but that'd be you know redundant so I'm going to go ahead and just bring this all the way around like so now I'm going to bring this actual hand area I'm going to deselect this and bring that to the front shift control right bracket and there we go I'm going to adjust this a little bit more because it looks kind of weird there Okay, I'm going to take off Simplify. I'm just going to bring this out a little bit more to match what I have in my sketch. Okay, now I'm going to go Object, Path, Simplify to make sure this doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of points I don't really want. So, very good. Okay, next we're going to be working on the actual detail lines of this sketch here. Now we have this at 0 0.25 let's go ahead and move this to 0 0.15 0. Zero point one five. very good now we can start working on our details I just kinda did a little scratch there to see if it looks nice I agree it looks good let's start working on that Bring the one here, there. I'm just making sure all the continuing lines look good. So everything looks pretty great there. Let's go ahead and put some here because we'll need that later on. One here as well. One here around the neck. Around the foot. Okay, very nice. Now let's start working on the actual embellishments on the head. Same thing, you just pull it out for the front. Send that one to the back. Shift control left bracket. And there we go. Very nice. Now let's start working on the actual details of the face. Let's put a little nose here, like so. Draw a little line right there. Let's make these details in the nose a little bit thinner. Okay, so let's go ahead and select that that 0 0.25 and erase that. I'm gonna get rid of that sketch for a minute. Grab that. Perfect. There we go. Let's make those a little bit thinner, so we can have some you know some nice detail in there. One there, one there, and then we're going to put another line right in there, like so. And as for the mouth, it's going to be kind of tricky, but the same idea. You have to think about what's inside first, the same thing as the body. So basically, the mouth starts first, the actual mouth itself. And then we're going to add some gums. So we're going to go ahead and add some kind of... Uh, I'm looking something here like so it's just all about the thinking about drawing this stuff once you get the idea down it's very simple I have a gum now you know gums go on top of you know basically in in your drawing here you have to think like what's first because if you don't if you make up one mistake you have to go back and fix it and it's kind of it's really tedious to do that so yeah the mouth and then the the gums fit in the mouth and the mouth and the teeth fit on the gum so you know, so I'm gonna add a tongue here as well. Tongue's in there. Now for the teeth. One tooth. There's a couple of teeth in here. It's kind of just fun. Because once you get this down correctly, you're able you'll be able to you know color your your inkings really easily. You don't have to throw any color behind it or anything like that. So pretty much there. We have our inking pretty much done there. Next, we're going to move on to actual color. Okay, now let's begin 
working on the mouth here. I'm going to go ahead and start selecting some colors. I'm going to go with a, start making a few adjustments here. I'm going to grab a couple swatches out that I'm going to use. I'm going to go with the, let's see, go with the, um, let's see, there we go for the mouth there. Then we're going to go something darker for the outline of the mouth. I'm going to hide the sketch now. There we go. Now I'm going to darken this up a bit. And that's good for the mouth. I'm going to drop these over into here so I can use them later on. And there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop this in, this actual darker purple right here. I'm going to bring these two in for the gums, like so. Teeth are going to be not necessarily a white, but maybe an off-white, so I'm going to go ahead and select that right now. That's pretty good right there. Tongue's going to be a pink as well, maybe a little bit brighter. And there you go. And we have that. I'm going to go ahead and color the rest of his body here. I'm going to just do a, a massive um, amount of color. I'm going to select all this. Select same fill color. I'm going to go with maybe a bluish color just to make sure it pops out because how about we go with Vector Toots Blue here. Okay. Select all that blue. Go with a darker, like a more of a tone of blue here. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and select a darker purple for this. We really want to get some nice tone on tone action here. There we go. And that's a lot better. Let's get that color here. And this one as well. Let's go ahead and make a nice little tone there for that. Shade darker. Teeth as well. Select the same fill color. If you see yourself selecting too many different colors, the same color, just go ahead and change it like that. Just go ahead and select same fill color. Let's go ahead and pop a little darker. There you go like that. Looks great. Now we can go ahead and start coloring some of this stuff in here. A little different colors. Let's go with that Vector Toots Brown. It's very common in the site. I'm going to go ahead and go with that actual white there. Kind of keep everything pretty uniform. I'm going to go with a little brown here as well. Now I'm going to select some color for the belly here. I might go with that same beige that's there. See how that looks. Looks pretty cool there. Let's go ahead and add some little embellishment, something in there, make it look more interesting. And the same thing on the tips here. Just now, you're using a lot of design sense, and you know, a lot of character design really is just like graphic design, but you have to make choices, you know, pertaining to the actual character itself, you know, whether it's a graphic, you know, type of drawing, or if it's more of a logo, or if it's more of a, you know, animated look. Let's go ahead and finish that up there. Let's get a little bit there. There we go. Very nice. Some fingers right there. And one right there. Okay, very good. Now we're going to go ahead and add some shading to this. You're going to select the white. So you know, just regular color white. Change this color to overlay. We're going to bring this down to about 30% and start just kind of doing a quick cell shade. Just keeping in mind the actual shape of the actual, you know, character here. There we go. Let's keep that line a little bit thinner than that. 
Maybe we'll go 20% since it's a lighter blue. Color around the mouth. Here as well. A lot of ways of coloring your stuff like this, but I usually do this just, just for quick reference. You know, just to see it really fast because it's really easy to work with. And but there's many ways to do this. This is the way I mostly do my coloring to get a quick result. You can get out of the office early, you know. Okay, now let's add a little bit of cell shading in here. There you go. Here as well. And there we have it. Now what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna take all of these colors here. We're gonna start we're gonna make a um an actual lighting a lighting um, glaze to this. So you go select same fill color to get all that blue that's in there to get the basic shape of everything object path outline stroke I'm gonna make that all one shape I'm gonna grab the gradient here real quick okay now I'm gonna make this white and this one more of a um, complementary color so I'm gonna go ahead and use that brown that's fine there make sure blends in a lot better let's go ahead and move that like this now what we're gonna do is select all this right here and group this together as one take these two right here I'm going to horizontally align center and vertically align center as well I'm gonna bring the actual color back one back and bring this one on top so we have that flipped I'm gonna take this color here the actual gradient set this one to overlay as well I'm gonna bring this all the way back so we get a nice little gradient here now I'm gonna bring this down a bit so we can get more of a that look bring this about 40 percent so we get a nice little glaze there Okay, let's go ahead and move this onto the side here. Next thing we're going to do is grab, make a little nice highlight area to this. So let's move this out again. I'm going to copy one more shape. And when the, to copy, actually, I'm sorry, you go um, Control Alt Shift Drag to drag straight out. You start dragging and get a nice shift there. Now I'm going to bring that right there. I'm going to take that. I'm going to knock this out with the minus front bring this in right there make this to a white go um, screen put that right in front right there to get a nice little color in there okay guys this is Mike Austin with Vectology here on behalf of Vector Tits Plus and thank you very much for watching